Hi, my name is Beth Heyer, I'm the Executive Director here at the Racine Zoo, and I'm here with Doug Nicholson, the owner of the Carriage House. We were talking, you know, we've been had a lot of lemons this year. 2020 has not really served us very well. So we figured we should make some lemonade. Well, actually, we're not making lemonade. What are we making today, Doug? Today we're gonna make a surrogate sun splash. Outstanding, how do we do that? All right, you're gonna follow me? I'm gonna do my best. All right, we're gonna be using a clear glass today so that people can see exactly what's going on okay. instead of doing it in a Boston tin. So the first thing we're gonna start with is sugar cubes. I'm okay. gonna take two. Okay. You might only want to do one, you're sweet enough. Oh, that's great. I will just do one then. There you go. Then we're gonna take a decent amount of cilantro. Also. Okay. If you like a lot of cilantro, use more cilantro. If it tastes like soap to you, uh, maybe use basil. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> then you're gonna wanna kinda crush up those sugar cubes down there. You're gonna beat it really well. And once you get those sugar cubes crushed up a little bit, you can use that to grind the cilantro. Okay. And the sugar will start melting a little bit, start oh. incorporating. Yeah, I see that. Mine's kind of sticking to the end, is that okay? That's all right. So what we'll do then is the alcohol will take that off. So we'll okay. go straight to the alcohol. Okay. So we're gonna do two ounces of North Shore number 11 gin. Okay. So proper way of doing this, fill the jigger and dump over the glass. Okay. thank you. Give it a little stir now. Okay. So you see, it's not sticking. Oh yeah, for sure. As much. I'm gonna take the other side and go about three quarters of an ounce of vanilla cutties. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. I'm squeeze half a lemon. Okay. There's where our lemons come in, okay? There's our lemons. And since I'm here already, I wanna do half of a large orange. Oh, I'm not so sure I can do such a good job as you just did but I'm certainly gonna try. I think you'll be fine. <laughs> okay. Just like that. Oh, all right. Okay, this, we're gonna say goodbye to this lemon because the lemon has hurt us this year. Oh, oh, sorry, small mistake. I still got all my juice though. <laughs> oh, that's perfect. Okay. Very nice. All right. I'm just gonna give that a little mix. Okay. Tap it. We're gonna pour it in this Boston shaker. Okay. I'm gonna take some ice. Fill it up. And you want enough ice so that uh, if you look, you guys can't see it, but if it, it, uh, okay. it covers the covers amount it all. Of, okay. of liquid. More? Oh, that's good. That's good, okay. You can take that. Put that up there. Like put it that. on the side. On the side, okay. Give it a hit. Okay. I feel like we should have a little music in here. Oh, you're a much better shaker than me. Take it however you'd like. Hey! <laughs> Love it. Here comes the fun part. Okay. You're gonna strain it. Ooh. I didn't bring any strainers. Oh, okay. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna hold this between your forefinger and your thumb. Okay. You're gonna put the rest of the glass in your hand. Like that, okay. Palm in your hand. Oh. You're gonna oh boy. leave it just down. Like this? No, I certainly didn't do that right. Hmm. Let me see that again. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna give it a try. Oh. You are the master, Doug. I'm sorry, I'm failing as a student. I don't think I did this right. That's not necessarily easy with gloves either. <laughs> yeah, yeah, off we just okay. Go like so. Oh, you are the master. 
Love it. If you don't like the green chunks in there, which I kind of do, um, you can certainly use a tea strainer okay. to put it through. Okay. I'm going to take and top it off with a little Sen Pellegrino okay. or seltzer water, soda water, whichever you prefer. Okay. It's garnished. Take your straw. Of course, in the service industry, we uh, leave the top yep. part on. Okay. And that's that. <gasps> but if you're drinking it. These are lovely. I think we need to cheers. All right. Whoopsie. Cheers away. Slancha. Ah, lovely. This is awesome. You guys all need to do this for Zoo Debut. Thank you, Doug. You're welcome. Cheers. You guys, that drink was so good that Beth and Doug made. I have to make my own now, too. So, Doug, what are we doing? Well, we are going to make a Wisco Sidecar. Sidecar okay. is a very classic cocktail, okay. normally made with cognac and lemon juice. Um, but, Here's uh, our lemons again. Right, correct. Lemons you said again. lemons, and yes. it has been a, a lemony year, that's yes, for sir. sure. But instead, we're uh, making it out of Wisconsin-based products. Oh, that's so awesome. Instead of uh, cognac, we're, we're going to be using uh, Driftless Glen five-year aged brandy. Okay. And we're going to be using a orange liqueur that's spice, so it's kind of good for the fall, kind of that mulling yeah, spice. Yeah. And it's a Goodland orange liqueur. Okay. It's made in Door County. You're going to be doing one, but you're going to be using cherry. Yummy. And this is going to be replacing that uh, the triple sec. Okay. Or the orange liqueur that's in the original classic cocktail. Okay. So. So. Let's, let's grab have some at sugar. It. Sugar, sugar. So we're going to be using the Boston shaker. We want to use about three sugar cubes. Okay. For this one. Two, three. I love this little bowl. Thanks. You're welcome. We're going to use two ounces of the Driftless Glen. Okay. Doug, where can they um, get all of these awesome ingredients to make theirs for uh, the 12th? Everything is available at Carriage House Liquor Company. And for the next week, if you mention the zoo, we will donate 10% of any sale to the zoo. What? Well, now that's outstanding. So now you got to go down to the carriage house, uh, downtown Racine, and get everything because it benefits Doug and it benefits the zoo. So that works out. Okay. I'm gonna take the other side. Yes, sir. And we're gonna fill all the way. Okay. Oh, I can smell the cherry. Yum. Okay. Maybe we're just okay. gonna take that muddler since uh, we don't have simple syrup. We're just gonna take and muddle the sugar. Kind of break up that sugar a little bit. Give it a little stir. That was a lot easier to break up than I uh, anticipated. The sugar. <laughs> it like just dissolves and disintegrates. I, ha I have a question. I don't know if you'll know the answer to this. I was told that, that sugar doesn't dissolve in cold stuff. Is that true or is that untrue, Doug? I find that pretty untrue. I think the okay. 90 proof of this brandy is going to dissolve it pretty quickly. 10 4. So. <laughs> Outstanding. All right. Take your small shaker, okay. fill with ice. Okay. Dump it on in. Just one? Yep, just okay. one. Okay. And then we're gonna take, and you can either use the cup or you can just use your small shaker. And okay. I love that thing. Hamilton Beach, made in Racine. That looks so fun to use, and I am really excited to use it. I like your little flippy do. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> I get excited over lots of things. <laughs> All right, so we put that under there. I can't do it as fancy as you. Grab the back of here. Ooh, or, Look, yeah. All right, put some pressure on heck there. Heck yeah. All right. All right, next one. Uh. Getting my workout in, guys. And then my uh, reward is drinking. <laughs> Pour it right on top. Absolutely. Okay. Now you're gonna get your glass ready. Okay. You're gonna take, glass. make sure that glass, the top part of the shaker is kicked to the side. Okay. Give it a whack. Give it a shake. Come on. What? What? <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm so excited. Straining. Okay. If I can get it out of there. Okay. Just like that. Let's see. 
It is hard with the gloves. Beth was right. Oh, there we go. Spilling a little bit, but that's okay. You all right? Is it gonna fill it? I think it's going into my other cup. Oh, there we go, okay. Is that good? Yeah, that's perfect. All right. Woo! Saved it! <laughs> now you're gonna take? Okay. Because you wanted it shimmery. I totally want it shimmery. So. You guys, they make shimmery stuff. This is called Spear Dust. Spear Dust? Spear Dust. I'm not really sure how to pronounce it, but it makes your drinks all shimmery. This is outstanding. Open up the little cap there. All right. It doesn't take much, just kind of pop a couple shakes in there. I am so excited that it's shimmery. Okay. Where do you get the shimmery stuff? Carriage house? Yes, ma'am. Oh, sweet. Let me give a little stir. Okay. Is that enough shimmer? Yeah. Can you get it in different colors or is it just one color? Yes, as a matter of fact, you're using black and I am using a green pearl. Sweet. All right, is that good? For the camera, we might have to add a little bit more here. Mine, yeah, mine looks shimmery up close. Oh yeah, look at yours. Oh, you know, I was just gonna ask, how come yours is lighter than mine? But yours is orange and mine is cherry. Correct. So there we go. So I'm not sure if you can catch the shimmeriness with the camera. That is super but cool. But you can see it, correct? Oh yeah. So yours yeah. with the dark, we, you know, it dark, might yeah. not come out quite I as can good. See, yeah, but, but I can still see it up close. Got a I'm very excited, I have shimmer. You it's zoo debut, who does not want right? shimmer? You need a little glitter, right? Need a little glitter. All right, for the garnish. <laughs> Okay. There we go. For the garnish, we're gonna do torched rosemary. Okay. So you're just gonna hold the rosemary out there. You're gonna take the torch. Oh, it's I can nice already green, smell it. And you can see how it starts to to kind of separate and bloom up. You're just kind of torching those oils a little bit. Okay. He gave me a longer piece. Safety first. <laughs> Should I go closer or, oh, yeah, there Yeah, you want to go just towards the end there. And you, you, and you don't necessarily have to burn it, but you, what you want to do is those leaves to open up. You want that oil inside, those essential oils to get kind of warm. That so it brings so out neat. the aroma. Okay, is that Perfect. good? Yeah. Perfect, all right. So should I just like break the top off? Yep. Okay. Okay, and then I just stick it in there? Slide it in. Slide it in. Oh, that's so pretty. So the whole idea of the torch rosemary is it doesn't really flavor the drink, but you get a whiff of it. Oh yeah, yeah totally, I can smell it. Well, cheers. Cilantro. Oh, well that that's is quite batch. delicious. That's a good batch, Doug. <laughs> you guys, thank you so much for joining us on our cocktail hour with Doug. Go to the carriage house, um, get all your ingredients so you guys can make yourselves a cocktail um, and join us for Zoo Debut next Saturday the 12th. Thanks guys.